What's up, y'all? Welcome back. And today we begin a new series, Loki. I'm a huge Marvel and MCU fan, just like everyone else in the world. This was a no-brainer. I'm a, I like the Marvel lore. Rest in peace to Stan Lee. I don't know if he was directly involved with Loki, but just, just from it being Marvel. Last time we saw Loki alive, present Loki was in Infinity War, and he was killed in the beginning. And then we saw his 2012 version, which is what this show is supposed to be based on, an Endgame. And here we are. Now, a lot of people didn't know WandaVision and Falcon we're gonna be so watched in great shows i knew before mandalorian even aired i knew those shits were gonna take off i knew they were gonna blow up but that's not what this is about everyone is hyped for loki everyone knows this is gonna do great numbers it's gonna have big implications for the next phase of the mcu i think we're gonna get the next big bad villain in this series because i mean it's loki but i'm gonna take it week by week and let's get into this before we begin i do want to remind you that you can see my full-length reaction to this series and others on my patreon link in the description if not just make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it it really helps my channel reach a wider audience and i greatly 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 appreciate it guys but now it's time for the show let's go I just got endgame theater flashbacks from watching that. Oh shit, it just threw us right into it. Where did he go? Hopefully it jumps us right into where he went. He had to have gone to Asgard first. Asgard wasn't blowing up yet, so yeah, he probably went to Asgard. He didn't even leave the planet. He went to Mongolia. He's in the past? Never mind. <laughs> Oh, so she slowed him down. I thought that was just a camera effect. Reset the timeline. Reset the timeline? There's a sacred timeline? Like, is that the main, main, main one? I have so many questions already. <laughs> Where the fuck were they at when Thanos was wrecking shit? Seriously. Can you at least tell me what it is? It's the Tesseract. Be very careful with it. Sounds dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds dumb. <laughs> This is like something out of Super Jail. Is that a cat or is that a flurkin? To my knowledge, do a lot of people not know if they're robots? Please move through. Yo, it's like they do this all day, every day. It's like an actual prison, but it's so much more than that. What is going on? I jumped a little bit. Temporal aura. What's that? Temporal aura. What is this, a deli? No. He's just gonna rewind you, my guy. Take a ticket. Long ago, countless unique timelines battled each other for supremacy. What? But then the all-knowing timekeepers emerged. Stepping off your path created a nexus event, leading to another multiversal war. Multiversal war? Do y'all hear this? You must stand trial for your offenses. Pick it, sir. Tried to Pick ask it, for one? Sir. Are you raising your voice with me? Please. What the fuck did he do? Did he kill him? To let us know how we're doing. Oh, what the hell is this show? So that little cartoon, I feel like it was more for us than for him. That was just to break it down that there are timekeepers, there are multiverses, there are people that are maintaining order for them. Do say Kiafisa. What? Whoa, this is an earth, is it? Devil bearing gifts. <laughs> they just let the kid live? I mean, not saying that they should kill the kid, but uh, wouldn't that have implications? Who is that devil, though? That's what I want to know. It can't be Mephisto. There's no way. That'd be so fucking nuts. You see, I only came into possession of the Tesseract because they traveled through time. No doubt in a last ditch effort to stave off my ascent to God King. You're right, bro. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know. To Tony Stark's they you should be after so he saw he noticed those two tonys and he saw ant-man now we know that he saw him what they did was supposed to happen you escaping was not what they did was supposed to happen the court finds you guilty sentence you to be reset reset he's gonna use loki to help capture the devil guy that's what's gonna happen there it is that's the plot and premise of the show i'll show you where my desk is you look looks like the Citadel from Mass Effect. I don't know if you guys played that, but it's like its own world 
technically it is a world. This place is a nightmare. That's another department. Now that department I'll help you burn down. The nightmare department? Holy crap. I'm Agent Mobius, by the way. Mobius? That sounds familiar. Your little club decides the fate of trillions of people at the behest of three space lizards. Yes, it's funny. Space lizards? Okay, come have a seat. Are they going to show him his death in Endgame? Are they going to show him all the events that happened after he died? I'm fucking hyped for this, man. What the fuck? King of what, exactly? You wouldn't understand. Don't say Asgard, man. Then he's gonna show him Asgard's gone. Midgard. Oh, Earth. You jackass. Big metaphor guy. Makes you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. Okay. <laughs> I think Loki sees that the timekeepers are just like everyone else. What makes them special? You know, they probably have an agenda. This is just their way of maintaining order. You can't make your own choices. If you have a set path, then there really is no set choice. Brother. Heimdall, he has to be ready. So he been the Midgard before and just like fucking around with us. I was young and I lost a bet to Thor. What? He did that because he lost a bet to Thor? <laughs> what the fuck? All I seek is a deeper understanding. He knows he turns into a good guy in Ragnarok and into the beginning of Endgame, so... He's just trying to bring it out of him prematurely, it seems. Never even happened to you. Not yet. The TVA doesn't just know your whole past, your whole life. It's all meant to be. Oh, yeah, his mom didn't die yet. Then the Dark Elves attacked the palace. Oh, never tell. <laughs> Loki loved Frigga. He loved his mom. Kill him. I'll kill you. Like he did your mother. Oh, shit. <laughs> you better hope he doesn't get that clicker out of your hands, man, or that's your ass. All so that others can achieve their best versions of themselves. Wow, so Loki's only purpose is to bring out the best in other people? That kind of sucks. Mischievous camp. I knew it. I knew he was going to get that clicker. <laughs> How did he grab it? I don't remember him ever getting that close to him. No pruning, no resetting. You can still help us. I mean, Loki did help bring down Hela. So come on now. Give me the Tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish. What's a fish? What's a fish? <laughs> Whoa, he just has a Tesseract laying around in there? Infinity stars? They actually got a lot of those. Some of the guys use them as paperweights. What? He's starting to realize it's not that serious. He's starting to realize he's just a small part of a very, 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 very vast system that's in place. Like stuff that he sees as powerful is seen as paperweights to them. He thought with that Tesseract, he could control everything. Please, bro. Now you're starting to realize how minuscule it all really is. Does that thing actually vaporize people? Or is, is, it, is it sending them somewhere else? They use Infinity Stones as paperweights. That's some wild shit. I, I, I don't know. It's really hard for me to get over that. Like, the thing that was the strongest force in the first saga of Marvel, now we're realizing that's child's play. That's, that was nothing. Those were pebbles. We haven't even gotten into the real threats yet. Oh, man. Here we go. I love you, my sons. Oh, he's seeing that his dad died. You know, maybe you're not so bad after all, brother. Maybe not. Oh, fuck. He's going to watch his death. <laughs> and that's the end of his tape. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Loki. Is this all just a trick? Please don't tell me this has all been an illusion. Stop. <laughs> Stop I can't go back. Back to my timeline. Nope. You're gone, bro. And you need a god of mischief to help you stop them. That's right. Why me? Variant we're hunting. You. Oh, fuck. I beg your pardon? Are you serious? Time signature is early third millennium. What is going on? It looks like Stranger Things. It's a dope background. That's that's an evil way to kill somebody. To burn them alive? Oh man, and whatever it is, they got a time resetter. How the fuck is that Loki? Holy crap, I got chills, man. <laughs> The Loki series is up and ready. It has begun. Getting a similar outro. Like we did with Falcon and Winter Soldier. 
just showing us all the workings i'm sure if you pause each one of these scenes it just shows you like a different either hint or rule infinity stones is paperweights man what the fuck that's some wild shit it's crazy how strong uh well how much power that this organization has and what their capabilities are and their intelligence and yet it just seems like everyone working there is just punching in the clock it seems like a regular workplace you know people don't have like a sense of pride or you know want to do everything to perfection it's just like man i'm just waiting till my shift is over can we just hurry up and move this along tara strong is miss minutes of course she is i want to know when we're gonna see those timekeepers because if time works differently then you know they're still alive and that ladies and gentlemen was loki season one episode one so we're, we're back into the the avenger era mcu 2012 and with all this time jumping i highly doubt that's going to be the last time it was dope opening up with the first avengers movie and all the heroes that we know and love it was cool of him watching a reel of everything that happened that was supposed to happen from his capture up until his death and how it really I don't know if it actually did make him change his mind, but it just made him realize he wasn't as strong as he thinks he is in this place. He can't do what he wants to do. If anything, he's going to have to take control of this place to control everything. I think that's what his end game is. I don't know who that I don't know who that person was that was in that field in Oklahoma in the 1800s. They said it was a variant of Loki that they're trying to catch, but I don't know how that would work. Well, I mean, I'm sure they're going to explain it. I mean, I, that's like trying to, it's like trying to figure out WandaVision after the first episode. Maybe we should give this a few more episodes. I think seeing his mother's death and his own death were the main deciding factors in him submitting to the will of this place. Cause I feel like he would have just kept terrorizing, terrorizing. He wouldn't have stopped. You know, they would have had to reset him. The show is definitely relying on that humor, you can tell. Like the way WandaVision relied on the drama and Falcon and Winter Soldier. I wouldn't say relied on the action, but in the way everything moving on and staying righteous. That's their conflict. Like all these new powers and people in these new positions, new Captain America, like are they up to the responsibility? Because we are. Can this world find some type of order? And in this, it's just... I don't know what this show is going to be. I don't know what it's going to be like. Great first episode. I'm already loving it. There's not too much to talk about because everything we saw in this was kind of in the trailer. I don't know why the kid pointed to Loki as a devil. Oh, maybe the horns. He probably saw Loki's horns. And that's why he was like, it was him. Uh, I hope. I like how just because it was an office setting and the it was stale coloring. You know, it looked like something straight out of Mad Men 60s, 50 era office setting it still didn't affect the pacing at all it didn't affect the action at all it didn't affect my interest at all it still was enjoyable and the whole infinity stones not having power there is wild like those are the strongest things we've seen so far in marvel and they're just they they mean nothing there they're paperweights and they have multiple of each one did he take a time stone i feel like maybe loki took that time stone i don't know he might have taken that time stone i was just sitting here thinking about that he did kind of pick it up and you know he can jump into a timeline and use it again that was kind of weird with him grabbing that time stone i feel like if he jumps into a world or something he can just use that at his will obviously he can't use it in the place but if something was to happen to that place you know maybe it was gonna get destroyed or burnt down or something he'd have all these infinity stones and apparently what was supposed to happen in endgame was supposed to happen we got confirmation from the guy they were supposed to go back in time and do all that. They didn't disrupt anything. That's why we didn't see the TV, TVA approach any of the heroes from Endgame. Well, I mean, we haven't seen any of the heroes from Endgame that were alive. All we've seen was Wanda, Falcon, Bucky, Spider-Man. These are the only people that had shows or movies out after Endgame and all of them were snapped. So we don't know what Steve Rogers is up to, Hulk is up to, Thor is up to, rest in peace to Tony Stark and Hawkeye. We don't know what they're all up to or any other or Rocket i'm hyped for this show damn it this only comes out once a week but you know what it's gonna make it that much sweeter i'm gonna try to edit this asap and get this up right away so i can you know talk to you guys about this and this is awesome and as someone that enjoys marvel this is like the best possible thing that could happen right now a show about loki with time variations and timelines and we know the new Spider-Man movie has to do with timelines. We know the Doctor Strange Madness movie has to do with timelines. And this is probably setting all that up. And my mind is racing. I can't wait. If anything in particular stood out to you in this episode or there was something I might have missed, please tell me about it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed watching my reaction. All I ask is that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this video if you haven't yet. 
You can also catch my full-length reaction to this series and others on my Patreon. Link in the description. You guys are the best. We're basically family now. I hope you know that. That's it for me. Until next time, spread peace and love. I'm out.